Hey Ryan, find the difference between these two mics. Thanks. They're the same microphone. Most of you uh, probably have a microphone like this one. It's a USB microphone. This is the Elgato Wave 1. It's $129, which is actually one of the cheaper ones to come out this year. Uh, but most of you want it to sound like, well, this guy, which is a studio microphone I bought 10 years ago uh, while I was studying music and recording in college and thought I was going to be a recording engineer. So invested in a super nice microphone that I now use for my live stream. The thing is, there are ways you can make this sound similar to this on a live stream. Now, let's be realistic here, by the way. That mic is about 20 times more than this mic. Taylor Swift is not going to be recording an album on this microphone anytime soon. When you're in a studio setting, there's just so many more details that you need to capture. However, when you're sending information to Twitch or to YouTube, that information is so heavily compressed that those high-end details don't mean as much anymore. And with the proper tools like EQ and compression, you can make a microphone like this sound almost indistinguishable from this one. So if you remember Ryan from the last video we did on audio solutions, Ryan used to work professionally as an audio engineer in a professional recording studio before he joined me to work on stream beats at Senpai Records. So I thought it'd be interesting to see if I spoke into both microphones at the same time, both the $129 microphone and the $2,000 microphone, if he could hear the difference. And if he could, what could we do to this microphone to bring the quality up to par with this one for free? So if you have yourself some kind of USB microphone and you've been looking to make it sound better, here you go. Also, important note, by the way, this video is sponsored by Elgato. Thank you, Elgato, for sending out some of these microphones. If you've seen my streams, you've heard me talk about it in non-sponsored stuff, it is my favorite USB microphone. There are a lot of great sounding USB microphones. The quality has improved so much. However, what you're really missing from USB microphones is control. Generally, you only have one, maybe two knobs, which is why my top recommendation has been the Elgato Wave. It comes with the Wavelink software, which allows you to control all the inputs and outputs separately, like your game audio, your voice audio, your team audio, your music audio, and you can control it with either your PC, your stream deck, or even your phone. So for the sake of transparency, we will be using an Elgato Wave mic throughout this video. One, because it is my favorite USB mic, and two, because they are sponsoring this video. <laughs> However, important note, these plugins we're using will apply to any USB microphone. They are built into OBS, not into the mic, so any of you can use this. If you'd like to pick up an Elgato Wave, either the Wave 1 or the Wave 3, use the link in the description below. Did you listen to him? Yeah. Am I going to be able to tell a difference? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> listen to Stream Beats, because it's the best non-copyright music for streamers and content creators. There's one. Listen to Stream Beats, because it's the best non-copyright music for streamers and content creators. <laughs> Do you know? I think so. Grab the microphone with the top one. Yeah. This is the top one. Yeah. Yeah. This is the bottom one. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, though, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> They're not... Dude, USB mics aren't bad. Yeah. I was expecting a g much greater difference, but... uh, The biggest no. difference is the EQ. Yeah. And I can... I could hear the compression. There's definitely a big... Definitely a big EQ difference. This polar pattern's probably tighter. Like, it's picking up less of the surrounding stuff. I can hear fan more fan noise in this one. I think that's also probably due to the noise gate yeah. being on this one, yeah. right? But even when the noise gate is open, I can hear more fan fan noise in this one. I noticed that it, it doesn't pick up like almost any of it, which is crazy. This? Yeah. Yeah. When it's, I mean, super sensitive mic, but it doesn't hear any of the fans yeah. right next to me. The, the, the cardioid pattern is probably pretty tight on that. Yeah, I'm guessing they have this be a, like a, a wider polar pattern just because people might be placing it further away. I can hear a little bit of a difference in the, like the high frequencies. Yeah, the highs, the highs on this are much smoother, if that makes any sense, the high frequencies. Like this one, the high frequencies on this one are a little harsher, mm. a little more present, <laughs> I guess. This is a very bright microphone. I, just, I know that just from experience recording it, but uh, it's smoother. It's not as abrasive on the high and the high frequencies. So let's talk about how to make this one 
sound similar to this one. I'm gonna be using Reaper plugins to make this mic sound as good as possible, namely noise gate, EQ, and compression. So we just gotta download them first. Free Reaper OBS plugins. And there you go. First one, replugs. A uh, awesome abbreviation for Reaper plugins. <laughs> What's that? There's a scene in here that's named Pokey. <laughs> I just saw. What is it? Oh, no, it is, probably is. It's probably that background that you used. Oh, it was. Because <laughs> I was doing NVIDIA broadcast. <laughs> what up? The best way I've found to really perfect my own audio settings is to record myself in OBS and loop it as a media source. So that way I can hear myself without talking and then I can adjust everything. Let me just do that real quick, record something. First, I wanna make sure that my voice is hitting at a good spot in OBS. They suggest having my speech land in the yellow. So I'll do that. It looks, looks like we're in a good spot and I'll start recording. It's true, Stream Beats really is the best copyright free music to use on Twitch and YouTube. It's totally safe. It's beautiful. It'll make all your dreams come true. Woo! Yeah, so that woo wasn't just for the memes. Um, I wanted something loud in there because that will affect how we set our compressor. Now that we have something recorded, um, we have to make a media source. Click the plus sign, add a media source, and let's name this Woo. We want to find the file now, which should be in OBS recordings. We can open that and below the file name, you want to make sure you check loop. After you've recorded your loop, you want to make sure that your audio settings in OBS are set so that you can hear the recording. First thing to do to make sure that you're able to monitor your recorded audio is go to settings, audio, and down here in advanced, you want to set your monitoring device and in my case, it is headphones. Then you wanna go down to the settings of your recording audio meter, hit that little thing again, go to advanced audio properties, and then you wanna turn your monitoring on. Now that we have our monitor settings correct, you should be able to hear your recording looping. So this is where we get to use our Reaper plugins. Now we're gonna put the Reaper plugins that we downloaded onto our audio loop. Let's go to the audio meter of the clip that's looping hit the settings button, go to filters, and in the audio slash video filters section, you can hit the plus sign. Now, as you can see, OBS already has a lot of audio plugins. They don't have an EQ plugin though. That's why we need the Reaper plugins. And since we're already using the Reaper EQ plugin, we might as well use the other plugins as well. They're a little nicer and I'll go into more detail about why. So to use a Reaper plugin, you hit VST 2X, and let's start with a noise gate. So I'll name it that. You wanna select your plugin here, and there is re Regate. <laughs> Just all the abbreviations, Regate. Now open plugin interface. Now you can see there's already visual feedback that's going on, and that's one reason why these are a little nicer than OBS's plugins. If you don't have all the audio ear training, this visual feedback will help you uh, get decent audio settings. Let me unmute this. So open a plugin interface. Okay, now the question is, can I do this while I'm listening to myself? What a noise gate does is cut out all the background noise um, below the threshold that you set. You wanna bring this fader here on the left. You wanna bring it up so that your voice is still above that fader. And everything else, background noise, typing on a keyboard, unless you really got hammer hands, you wanna keep all that stuff below the fader. Anything below the fader will get turned down. So let's set this. If you have the fader too high, you'll hear it cutting out your voice and you don't want that to happen. It really is the best copyright music switch. So it's kind of cutting out my voice there. So that means it's too high. I'll bring it down just so all of my vocals are coming through clearly. There's some other settings here. For the most part, if you don't understand what they are, you probably don't have to worry about it. Now that we have our noise gate set, let's add EQ. So go to the same spot, VST2 plugin. Let's name this EQ. Select it here. Where is it? Re-Q, <laughs> re -Q. Oh man, that's so good. Open plugin interface. So this is the EQ plugin. 
Um, down here on this side of the graph is low frequencies and up here are high frequencies. You can see the numbers down below and I'll reference those a little bit. The way you use this EQ is by clicking the different nodes and moving them up or down. There's a couple things I need to do to get it the way I want. So right now I'm gonna change this EQ to a band shape basically just changes the amount of frequencies that it's affecting. I'm also going to change this to a band. Um, compared to the Kiwi, this is lacking some presence. Um, I'm going to bring up this frequency between 100 and 200. One tip I have is if you can't hear what the EQ is doing, boost the EQ to the point where you can hear what it's doing, and then you can adjust it to your taste. For example, if I turn this up, a lot, you start to hear the stuff that sounds like this. So I want to take a little bit of that out. I'm going to add a little bit of the 1, 1K back in to give it a little more clarity. I'm going to boost the stuff above 5K to make it feel a little more open. It's true. Stream Beats really is the best copyright free music to use on Twitch and YouTube. It's true. Stream Beats really is the best copyright free music to use on Twitch and YouTube. So that's sounding pretty good to me. It's so hard to think when I'm listening to myself. Keep in mind that every voice is different and will sound different on the same microphone. What I EQ'd here is a good starting point, but make sure that you tweak it to make your voice sound the best on your microphone. The third plugin we're gonna use is compression. VST2, compressor, select it down here, recomp. Open plugin interface. As I mentioned in other videos, compressors turn down the loudest parts of your voice and turn up the quieter parts of your voice. My goal with the compressor is to make sure that it's only really touching the loudest average volume that I'm speaking at. That way it'll be really catching the super loud stuff and maybe not touching the super quiet stuff too much. The goal here is to make the volume I'm speaking at more consistent. The first thing I'm gonna do is set the ratio. This determines how much the compressor turns down your voice once it crosses that threshold you set. This threshold fader here, um, I wanna set this at a spot that's kind of catching the, the loudest average volume that I'm speaking at. That way, it's just barely controlling my average voice, really turning down the super loud stuff and then maybe not even touching the very quietest stuff. I want this to make my volume more consistent. So once I set this at a certain spot where I'm crossing the threshold, you can see this red fader over here turning down my vocal. It tells me how many decibels it's turning down. Let me listen in. Stream Beats really is the best copyright free music to use on Twitch and YouTube. All right, so I have it so my really loud woo is getting turned down by about negative 10 decibels. When I'm talking normally, you can see the meter turning my voice down maybe negative one, negative two decibels, sometimes up to negative five. I wouldn't re really go above that. It starts to sound really compressed. But again, every voice is different. So you can mess around with this to your taste. Attack and release? <laughs> no? <laughs> if you feel like the compressor is changing the sound of your voice too much, I would look to see if your threshold is set too low, or you can try increasing the attack a little bit. This makes the compressor work a little slower, and you might not hear it affect your voice as much if it's a little slower. Because the compressor is turning down the louder parts of our vocal, we might need to turn it up with makeup gain after the compressor, and you do that right here on this wet fader. I might turn it up a little bit just to make sure that I'm hitting right in the middle of this yellow part of the meter. So let's take a listen to how the voice is sounding now. It's true. Stream Beats really is the best copyright free music to use. You know, it's natural as you go through and tweak stuff for the sound to change a little bit. Um, I might go back to the EQ here and turn up my high frequencies a little more. Okay. I gotta turn this loop off. It's driving me nuts. That's sounding pretty good to me. Again, things might sound different on your phone things will sound different because your voice is different than mine. You uh, used a different microphone than I did. So again, make sure you listen, record yourself, and make sure it's sounding the way that you like it. Now that we have our audio filter set on our loop, 
Let's transfer these settings to our microphone. Right click on the audio meter of your loop, hit copy filters, right click on your microphone audio meter and hit paste filters. Now if we check the filters on your microphone, they're all there. We can open up the settings, they're all there. All right. Let's see if Harris can hear the difference between this microphone and the Kiwi. But it's good to go. Yeah, it's and all you good. You may or may not have reordered them, so I don't know which one's which. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I feel like there's gonna be a bias in this. Like if I can, if I can tell the difference, it ruins the purpose of the whole video. <laughs> so I'm gonna be like, I can't hear the difference. People will love that. So I just unmute them. Yeah, they're looping. Okay. It's the best copyright-free music to use on Twitch and YouTube. It's totally safe, it's beautiful, it'll make all your dreams come true. Woo! It's true. Stream Beats really is the best copyright free music to use on Twitch and YouTube. It's totally safe, it's totally safe, it's beautiful, it'll make all your dreams Okay, I think the second one, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, I think the second one's the Elgato. Yeah. It is? Yeah. Okay. You know how I could tell though? By the way, the quality is like, they're both, uh -huh. like it's not like one is better than the other. Yeah. I just know I'm a little more aggressive with my EQ and I cut out the mids more than you did. Uh -huh. I think if you cut out the mids more to make a match, I don't think I would have been able to tell. Yeah. They both sound great though. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's a really good sounding USB microphone. Yeah, and by the way, uh, this video is sponsored by Elgato. However, this what everything we did here can 100% be done on any USB microphone. So, sorry Elgato, not sorry. It is still sponsored by Elgato and it is a great microphone, but yeah, any USB microphone will work fine. Just another reminder, Ryan streams music stuff every Wednesday and, and Friday? Wednesday, Friday? Yeah. Cool, yeah, link to his channel below. So if you have any audio questions, microphone questions, feel free to jump in there, hit him up. Hope this was helpful. This is a fun video. This took a little longer than I expected, but uh, cool. And as always, <laughs> happy streaming. Happy listening. Happy listening. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs>